quick update because I am on the go as always um, we moved as you saw by the title of the video um, it has been crazy so it's been now maybe three weeks since we moved so just to give you a quick run through I'm not sure if I mentioned but our house was built from scratch so and we have been there since day one which that'll be a video I will tell you everything about it and what we went through so stay tuned for that before we moved our neighbors put together a little something for us which was really nice we have grown to love our neighbors literally we got really lucky with great neighbors in our old house I got a text from one of them saying hey what are you doing later it was on Valentine's Day none of us even noticed that it was Valentine's Day it was a Sunday and I was like I think it was a Sunday and I said um, oh nothing why and she's like well, why don't you and your husband come over and all this stuff and i'm like okay cool well they invited our next door neighbors next to us which we hold here to our heart also um so they surprised us with like a little going away party and then we all just reminisced of like moving into the neighborhood and how it used to look to how it looks now one of them made um like little appetizers and stuff it was really nice and wine and you know stuff like that they did a little going away party for us which was so sweet and we got a little sad because we know we're gonna miss them, but they're gonna be coming over because we're doing a home morning party. Yeah, it's gonna be nice to see them. They've been texting me, both wives have been texting me and checking in to see how, you know, the move is going, if we're settled in and all of this stuff, so. But yeah, okay, so that was just about my neighbors. So we were supposed to close on, on a Tuesday and I'm in the bathroom with my daughter, doing my hair and I hear my husband go, wait, today? at three o'clock and I'm like what's the day at three and he's like we're closing today at three and I'm like that was on a Monday keep in mind we have been and it was like 12 30 by the time we got that call from my realtor that we were closing at three o'clock on that day so we have been sleeping all of our furniture was already packed away um in the the pod we got a pod truck um with all of our stuff in it so we had no furniture out. We have been sleeping on futons and air mattresses. It was crazy. So now we're deflating beds, trying to clean up. I had both of my neighbors, the ones across from me and the ones next to me, holding things in their garage for me because I called them last minute like, hey, change your plans. We're closing today, not tomorrow. Can I use your garage? And they was like, yeah, of course. So it was cute. They both had their garage open and I had my kids running things to one and then one running things to the other while I'm cleaning. It was a mess. So, and the buyers also wanted to do a final walkthrough at two o'clock and we were closing at three, it's whatever. It's now their home, so they have the right to a final walk. So the buyers end up coming, doing their final walkthrough. I welcome them into their new home, which is cute. With the realtor and the realtor is just like, oh, you know, a few things like what days, trash and recycle and where's the extra keys for such and such, whatever, just so that the buyers know. So I gave the realtor all the information and then the realtor was like okay let's go guys we gotta go to closing and this is where it hit us because we're like that's it there's no turning back you know we're about to give up our home pretty much it felt like it was it was just sad so we stood in front of the, we let them leave and then we stood in front of the house for a little bit and we took our final picture in front of our first bought home which was a little emotional my son went in his dad's car and my my stepdaughter came in my car with my dog and we drove off and we had a little moment um i don't think it i mean it hit us but it didn't hit us hit us until we gave the keys in it was just like that's it no keys then so we drove to a hotel we stood at a hilton a pet friendly hilton because my dog was with us so we stood at the hotel for four days on thursday we did our um final walkthrough with our new house i mean so much detail that goes into it but it's worth it because you're about to clothes on your house can i just tell you living in a hotel it wasn't easy you kind of gotta mentally prepare so like you gotta tell yourself it's just a staycation we're on vacation something like that because it's not easy and then having a dog you gotta really prepare yourself we were eating out three days breakfast lunch and dinner which is disgusting i hate eating out especially so often that's it's just so nasty so you're already feeling like Ugh, you're not in your own bed you know i had the dog with me so which i i like how the hotel makes it pet friendly which is pretty cool so it's comfort for the dog which is cute so friday comes which is closing day 
Our closing was around 2.30, but we was like, you know what? Let's go to the house. We contacted the builder and told them that we, we had our dog with us and we wanted to go to the house first. So um, he said that was fine. He's like, you know, you guys are about to close in another hour, so it's fine. So we went to the house and we put my dog inside. So this way she's not sitting in the car while we're doing the closing because closings take a few hours. Um, so we put her in the house and we also offloaded a lot of bags because our bags was, I mean, our cars were full of bags because again, we were last minute like rushed to put everything Oh wait, last minute things in our car. So we were driving for the whole week with our cars packed of clothes and last minute things that we had to put away. Anyway, and then I made one little spot for my dog. So it was it was hard. So we offloaded everything on Friday into the house. We went to closing. Once we were done with the paperwork and we got the keys, my husband got down on one knee with the key and, and basically asked me to marry him again, which was cute, with the key. We we're about to start our new another new chapter as a family which was it was so cute he's such a cutie i love you babe we're driving home and everything just felt so right we're finally out of the hotel we're going home like home months and months of waiting watching the house getting built because watching the process of the house getting built and now we're actually in our house it just felt so good now that we're in we had so much to do from the floors to we wanted to change out the the counters so we in our old house we had granite done in this house we chose quartz because we heard quartz is like it doesn't stain it's more durable so we went with the quartz so we did a white quartz which is beautiful i cannot wait to show you the before and afters even of this house is gorgeous um i mean it was a brand new house but there was still other touches we wanted to do to it so the past three weeks have been crazy with workers in and out of our house, but the house looks so beautiful. Can't wait to show you guys. Anywho, I am going to insert a video of the process, what we went through with packing and how my old house looked empty. And I'll also put a video of the house, of how it looked, uh, my old house, before we moved out. It was beautiful compared to how it looked six years ago when we bought the house had the floors done my husband did them himself the laminate floors through the whole house we had a brand new garage door installed um, with the open and close right, PVC fence all the way around the house um, driveway we did so much to that house it just it looks so gorgeous so the new buyers are definitely going to enjoy that so here's our old house
videos coming up, which is going to be, you know, the process of what we went through with this house getting built. Um, my new house tour, furnishing each room, like just different decor ideas I had and did. So there's a lot of videos coming up, which I cannot wait to show you guys. So anyway, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.